All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, Bashim Rakakurash, the Wadi Al Bashim El Shai. Woo! Fuck you. The Wadi Al Bashim El Shai for letting me do the video through Spirit. The Wadi Al Bashim El Shai for giving us the truth of worms. Double honors are apostles and others at Great Millstone. And salutation and blessings to the old Palette. It's going to be a video. I was reading something. I just read a little sh- short excerpt from uh, my mom in school work. And uh, uh, it was something about modern, like dealing with pregnancy and uh, how modern day science has kind of destroyed the traditional roots of when a woman got pregnant in the birthing process. And how it was like, it was like a beautiful thing. It was a, it was a very spiritual and a very uh, like special thing for a child to be born, which it was, it because that represents a, a part of your line flourishing in the planet Earth, especially if it's a man child. That's that's a part of your lineage. You're bringing forth your your yourself literally to the planet Earth, and modern day science, as they call it, or modern day doctors have. Basically, it has destroyed that traditional and that uh, 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 cultural, cultural, uh, uh, tra- it, was, it was basically traditional and a cultural and a spiritual experience that giving birth would, would bring to a family, would bring to a household. It's kind of been destroyed. And I only read a little bit of it and it just came to my mind thinking of a video to do. And uh, just the thought, literally what I typed in on Google Modern day. This is from uh, Daily Mail, uh, two thousand eight April. Uh, old old article, but still prevalent to this day. Even more prevalent to this day. But it says modern day social evils have destroyed t- traditional family va- value. Says says studies, and yeah, that that that's of a truth. Uh, traditional or cultural uh, norms or values have literally just been tossed to the wind. And that and that's because of modern day society and of this uh, society and social structure we live in to this day. The cultural and spiritual parts of 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 this world have been tossed to the wind. It's all about self love, uh, having a new thing, which is greed, uh, hating one another, and the, and this all stems back to what would be going on. In the end times, what will be going on in the last days before the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai and before the destruction? So I'm going to read a little bit of this article and uh, just get into it. It says, Britain, and this is uh, in Britain, Britain has lost its moral compass with with society and be lighted by uh, selfishness, greed, and family breakdowns and Family structure, as we know, has been completely obliterated. According to Liberal Reach Research Group, these are modern day social evils have destroyed traditional shared values and left people feeling a deep sense of unease, says said the study. It's uh, let's see this word. It criticizes the government big businesses, religion, and the and the media for unwelcome changes which now shape our society. And <laughs> that speaks for that that's that speaks for itself. The, the the government, big business, religion and and the media, especially in the word media goes back to the word medium, which is witchcraft, and it says for unwelcome changes and now that now shape our our society, and this was in two thousand eight. How much more now? You see how the society has has just changed. Society is swirls evil, man. I do I do bouncing on the side, man, and I and I see it, man. Yeah, man, I man. I was speaking to my grandmother the other day. I said I haven't even been on a planet Earth for a long time. But if I would, if I would, if I would have knew this, how the planet Earth would have been, 
in the 26 years of my life, I would have said, keep me up there. And I, she's my grandma old. She said, she said, she said, now you got to think how I see. I said, I can only imagine how you see it. And brothers, we have to think, imagine how the apostles and elders and men of age who's in this truth view this world, man. This world wasn't like this. It, it was bad, but it wasn't like how it is now. What we have grown up in the brothers that's in their 20s. Now, imagine how our elders and brothers oversee this world, man. They've watched it change in the truth. So <laughs> you got to imagine how, how strong these men's minds are. This is this. This society we live in is different, man, compared to what they grew up in. It's a lot different. Even from when we were kids, it's a lot different, man. This is a very evil and wicked world. I was just watching a brother, uh, GMS, uh, I believe is Rome Lions Den, something to that title, brother in Dallas. And uh, uh, he was talking about you got to find peace in, in Yahweh Shai, not in this world. Because our peace and our and our our stress reliever is in this truth. It gives you an ease from the from the society that we live in, man. Because the society is just if you let it weigh on you, it'll destroy you. Because it's it's the evil that it promoted is in this world is 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 bad. It's really bad. It says the re report by and the, and the, and the, just to add to that point, this this all deals with. Prophecy that will happen in the end times, which I'm gonna get into through the spirit. It says the report by by social of uh, policy uh, charity, the uh, Joseph uh, Roundtree Foundation uh, also identifies. What's this word? Consumerism, drug, drugs, and alcohol, immigration, and and response to it, crime, violence, poverty, inequality, as thing as as the things people are most worried about. And this was in two thousand eight. This is April two thousand eight. Man, two thousand eight, I was in the world. I was just fucking. What's that? I was just fucking in middle school in 2008. So how much more now in 2023? How much more is this article prevalent? How much more has wickedness grown upon earth? Straight up, man. How much wickedness, man? Whew, oh yeah, yes, man. You start, you start thinking about shit. <laughs> and you do videos like this. Um, <laughs> oh, man. This is 2nd Ezra 5. I'm going to get verse 1 and read down. Nevertheless... As coming, and this is the angel of the Lord speaking to Ezra. Nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the day shall come, which the tokens of prophecies, that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. But iniquity shall be increased above the, that which thou now seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. And that's what we see. Iniquity has reached all time high. And I always bring this out through the spirit. This is one of my favorite scriptures because iniquities has increased above this. Iniquities have increased above even this time, this time period, which I'm going to get. This is Genesis 6 and verse uh, 5. And, and God saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth and the imagination of the thoughts of, of, of his heart was only evil continually. And repented the Lord that he he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping things, and the fowls of the air, for it repentance me that I made man, made them. So this time that we living in is worse than then, is worse than the time of Ezra's. And it's, it's, it's worse than the Roman Empire. It's worse than the time that we are living in. It's, you, you can't stress that enough. This is the most wicked society that has ever existed on the planet Earth. That's why it grieves me and pisses me off that you Christians bother us. It, I mean, it doesn't piss me off. It doesn't really even bother me that much. It's just like an annoyance. But it's, that's, that's prophecy, and it's supposed to happen. But the fact of the matter is, 
We're living in the most wicked society that's ever existed on the planet Earth. And we're speaking righteousness. And you're coming to fuck with us. The Lord's going to judge y'all. We, but this is society that we live in. This is why the Lord is, is on his way to destroy this. Because this society trumps pre-flood. Trumps Sodom and Gomorrah. Trumps Pompeii. Trumps Rome. Trumps Greece. Trumps Persian me. Trumps Babylon. This is the wicked society. This is a pinnacle of wickedness that has ever been on planet Earth because you have the technology to change yourself. You have the technology to be what you want. You have the Internet. You have social media. You have drugs readily available. You have alcohol readily available. You can do whatever you want. Women can choose who they want. Men can do whatever they want. Parents can do what they want or not do what they want. This is a literally there's no rules. There's no rules. You can end up in jail for parking tickets rather than somebody being judged for committing adultery. That's madness. It's fucking madness. But this is the world we live in. This is uh Second Ezra 9 and verse 1. Whew, I gotta call the brother after this video. <laughs> Got a bit. Uh, verse, uh, second Ezra nine and verse one, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is a very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he have made. And we're living in that time because the tokens are clearly coming to pass. And, and we see the Lord approach it, man, through those prophecies, through the tokens, through, through what, what you want to call them. Verse three, which are the prophecies. Therefore, when thou see it, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of these things from the beginning. I'm going to read that over. Then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning for like as for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the time also of the highest have plain beginnings and in wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And we're living in that time. We're living in the time where the highest, Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, is going to visit the world for, for its wickedness. It, it, that's the time that we're living in. Because wickedness is getting to a point of his pinnacle and it's going to the lord is going to have to do something and what he's already doing things but it's going to get to a point where he himself through how shy is going to have to come he's going to have to like you like he's going to have to come here to the planet earth and fix all of it revelations 18 and verse 1 and after these things i saw another angel come down from heaven having great power and the and the earth was lightened with his glory. And, he, and this is an angel coming down in the chariot. What people call so-called UFO. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great it is, is fallen. Is fallen. And has become the habitation of devils. And the hold of every foul spirit. And the cage of every and unclean and hateful bird. For all the nations have drunken of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth have waxed and rich through the abundance of her delicacy. Because everyone on the planet earth deals with this. With the, with the with this, They may not accept everything, but they deal with this whore. That's why all these nations, when they come over here, they're having problems in their family. Because now their daughters are whores. Their sons are sodomites. They're, 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 they're you know how many Arabic motherfuckers I've met that didn't been disowned, Arabic women that have been disowned by their families? Not too many, but just a few. But you meet them, they've been disowned because of how, their actions. Their actions. Because of what? They have taken part of this whore, the beast. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. That ye receive not of her her plagues. And that's physical, man. The Lord is going to take his elect and the one third out of America, Babylon the Great, and, and deliver them. He's going to rip them out of this place through the chariots. 
for her sins have reached unto heaven, and and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. Because what the Lord is seeing everything that happened here, even when you go back to Genesis six, it first starts off that the Lord looked upon them. How did the Lord look at look at the people during the time of the flood? Through the chariots, the angels were were surveying the place, and they're like, man, hey, bring back the report, like, hey, Lord. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. These these people are going the fuck off. Like they're they're gone. I'm just, uh, they 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 they're gone. Like these motherfuckers are just doing crazy shit. And you don't think the angels of the Lord going back to the Lord? Like man, they got they got niggas chopping their shit off. They got they got dudes turning to women. Like it's crazy down there, Lord. Like you gotta do something. And you that shit pisses the Lord off, man. And soon he's gonna do something. Just like when brothers die or, or tr true men of the Lord, even women, go to the spirit world. Even you, just people in the in the world that are Israelites, they go to the spirit world. Like Lord, you gotta you gotta fix this place. You gotta. Uh, it's crazy down there. It's 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 crazy. It's absolute madness happening down there. Destroy, it. destroy all of it, please. Because the scriptures say speaks about that that those that go up there, man, they complain to the Lord, man. They're like. This place fucking through down there. It's through. Damn, I just had a scripture. Just had a scripture. I keep going to revelations and uh come back. It comes back. If not, I'll just end it. Uh Revelation eighteen and verse five. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. Remember even rem reward her even as she have rewarded you. Double unto her according to her works. In the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. And that's dealing with the cup of what? Slavery. They still, this place has to be filled. You devils still have to be paid back for that. Verse 7. How much shall she, how much she have glorified herself and lived delicate, deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I said a queen. And I am no widow. And shall see no sorrow. And that's the mindset of some of these Americans. They're, they think that this place will never be touched, that this place will always go on, and you're out of your fucking mind. Verse 8, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning, famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord, Yahweh, power that judges her. And that's what's coming, judgment. Judgment is coming to this place because of the sins of, of America have reached unto the Lord, and the Lord is going to return and judge this whore. So this is this was going. This is a short lesson. Hey, this place is the degenerate. I keep using this word, uh, degeneracy, man. This place is decaying, man. People are degenerates. They they their their lives are worth nothing, and they're full of evil, man. And the heavenly Father is going to come and judge this this earth, man, in righteousness. So with that, all praise be to Yahweh. Shemiah Shai. With that, Shalom.